Sean Oshadi with MMA Fighting here with Jose Youngs in downtown Phoenix just after the UFC 274 official weigh-ins. And we have an unprecedented situation that has developed here, Jose. UFC lightweight champion Charles Oliveira misses weight this morning here in the desert. 155.5 pounds. He misses weight by a half pound. And Jose, we have officially seen the first time ever a UFC champion has lost their belt on the scale, at least in the modern era. We do not have a UFC lightweight champion. Charles Oliveira has been stripped officially. And now we are left with a situation where Justin Gaethje, who met the contractual weight of 155, will be able to win the title on Saturday. But Charles Oliveira will not. And we do not have a lightweight champion right now. Stunning development here. Jose, just your rea reaction to the news. I don't really have a reaction because, like you said, this is unprecedented. Like, normally when things happen, I'd be like, like when someone misses weight, I know how to react. When someone pulls out of a fight, I know how to react. When there's like a last minute scratch, I know how to react. This is like you said, this is unprecedented. We've had missed weights in title fights before, like famously like Romero missed it twice for like for, before his Rockhold fight and the Whitaker fight, so he, he wasn't eligible to win the fight. David Figueredo obviously missed weight before he fought Joe B the first time. He couldn't, and he obviously, and, and these, and like R Romero and Figueredo won and the belt remained vacant, but those were for like already vacant titles. The fact that the champion missed weight and was stripped, I don't know how to react because because like you said, this has never happened before. I'm, I guess, disappointed. My my morning is fairly ruined right now because I was hoping for a very, very exciting title fight, but now I just feel like this is just looming over the whole card now. Like, what other storyline is bigger than this? Like, we have the whole media day, the whole like yesterday at the press conference and everything. We've been talking. You just did the show. Like, this card was so good for like like how like X amount of bonuses, Shogun's return, Justin Gaethje, the, like the most violent fighter, the rematch of the Rose. None of that matters right now. It's all about Charles Oliveira coming in at 155.5. It's a cruel irony in a way, right? This is a guy who basically got kicked out of featherweight yeah. for missing weight. Not, not only that, but he tweeted he was on weight. His coach said he was already on weight like nine hours ago. So like, it's just more questions I have. I don't like, was their scale wrong? Was this scale wrong? Just a perplexing situation all around. It's a baffling situation because you're right. Charles Oliveira earlier today, I think it was maybe 10 hours ago at this point, tweet, one of his coaches tweet, uh, had on Instagram that they were already on weight. Charles, in the moment, looked very confused initially. So let's backpedal just a, a little bit to the first weigh-in. Happened with about five minutes left to go on the two-hour window we had in Phoenix. Charles strolls in. He looked very confident, and then he looked surprised once that weight was read out of 155.5. What was your read in the moment? And what, what, just take me back through that moment. It was... I, when I, I saw his tweet, and then obviously our, our colleague Guillermo, Guillermo Cruz, like he told us that that his coach announced that like what like nine hours ago. When that normally happens, you're usually the first one to weigh in because you can just go rehydrate immediately. So the fact that Charles was one of the last few to weigh in even before missing weight, I just felt like something was off. Like maybe he he overshot it, or he got too comfortable, or he like maybe he cut weight too early and just peaked too early. I just don't know. My initial reaction when he was late was something's amiss and then when he missed weight i was like ah something something is something is something is wrong here so i don't know i was just confusion all around the whole situation every, the, every question i have there's like 10 more i, I want answered as well it's tough too because we so we mike chandler tweeted out something about this right afterwards right yeah. of that mental switch of once you're and even just physically once you're yeah. done cutting you feel like your body's done you're you done with the process anymore. you come out here you think it's over and then it's really just you're still going we saw it. I mean, Charles Oliver walked out here. He was dry as a bone. He didn't look like he was sweating at all that first time. And then now it took basically the entire hour for him. And he comes back out and he hasn't, his weight hasn't changed. Are you surprised, I guess, he didn't shave his head, that there wasn't the, like those dire situations? Because this man just lost his UFC title to this. Yeah, I don't know what, the, what they were doing on the back, but like some, some people were even saying here, like, like some of the media, like those those portable saunas they have. Like, those are probably all unplugged right now. Like, you gotta warm them back up. Like, what was he doing? Like, like Michael Chandler himself said, like that, when you think you're on weight and you sucked out the last bit of sweat you have, and all of a sudden you miss weight and you have no more sweat to give, that is has to be the most demoralizing feeling you can have as a fighter. I don't know what they did. There were jokes here like, oh, could you pull out half a pound of blood from your body with that? And then obviously that wouldn't even go against USADA apparently because it's not injecting anything. So I don't, I. I don't know what they did back there or if they tried. I remember I went into the bathroom after Yolo Romero missed away in Chicago, and it looked like he had been just like sweating profusely the whole time in there. I don't know what he did, what Charles did back there. I'm just, 
it didn't seem like he was hurting on the scale. Like when Ovin St. Preux got up on the scale and he made 205 and he needed the box, you could tell yeah. that was a bad cut because he walked out and was like, I need the box. It was kind of wobbly up, wobbly up there. That wasn't Charles. So I don't know what he did back there. So it's that's even an, another question I have. Like you didn't look bad up there. You looked like you could have lost weight, but I don't know the intricacies of the weight cut or the fight camps. It's just a disappointing situation all around. The tension in this room as the countdown got closer yeah. and closer this second time around as we're finding out, you know, he only has five minutes to go, four minutes to go. You have Trevor Whitman in here, Justin Gaethje's coach, yeah. watching from the side. It's very boxing-esque of watching the way in and, and advising the commission members, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. make sure his hands are up, make sure he's not leaning I, on I, I liked that part. Like, like if at most, more coaches should honestly do that when, when people weigh in. Like, you obviously, family, like when Kelvin Gastelum weighed in, we had that debacle in, like, New York with, like, the elbow or something like that. So, yeah, kudos to Trevor Whitman. He was right there. And then the second he heard 155 he picked up the phone and was immediately talking to somebody so um i'm there i'm sure they're gonna take the fight obviously because justin can win the title but yeah i was happy to see trevor like kind of instructing like hey like when his chest got close to the edge he like pointed it out commission walked instantly. over instantly so yeah i'd like to see more of that we're still we're doing this in the moment so we still don't know what the fine is going to yeah, be yeah. ultimately there will be a fine levied on charles that will hit pounds of gold that's the fine 15 pounds of gold, sure, but also I'm sure that man has a healthy purse. Some of that is now going to Justin Gaethje. We still ostensibly have a fight on mm -hmm. Saturday. Mm -hmm. This is a giant blow for uh, the champion or the former champion now, I guess it, this is crazy to say, but the former champion now to have to deal with 24 hours before the fight of his life against a man who is, you know, a wrecking ball, who's going to take him to hell and back. Yeah. Does this change your read on the fight at all? I mean, it's a half pound. That's so, when we heard it initially of just a half pound, I think everybody in this room assumed it'll be fine. Easy, yeah. Does this change your read on the fight now? Uh, probably a little bit, most, but at the same time, like I said, like Charles didn't look like debilitated up there. But that, that emotional aspect yeah, too, yeah, that's yeah, part yeah, of it I'm now. Sure. He is not the champion anymore. That's this is crazy to say. It is. Um, I was already picking Justin to win anyway, but I think I'm a little more, I'm a little more confident right now. It's. Similar to when the last time we were here, when Figueredo and Moreno weighed in. All week, I thought Figueredo was gonna win. And then after official weigh-ins, remember he came out and barely made weight and was like being held up there. I flipped, I don't know if you remember our preview show. And I, I think I was the only one on the site that picked Moreno to win because I saw him on the scale. So if anything, this just makes me a little more confident that Justin is going to win. But again, like Charles wasn't physically like debilitated up there, but mentally he just has to be in such a weird place. And I'm pretty confident Justin Gaethje is not the happiest man in the world right now. Oh, I think Justin Gage is probably thrilled. Well, thrilled to get some monetary bonuses or anything, but you know, Justin kind of prides himself on being a professional. So I think he's just, anno maybe he's probably annoyed. I'm, not, I'm sure he's not happy that he missed weight, that Charles Oliveira missed weight. So I think the ceremonial face-off is gonna be a little more spicy than we initially thought it would be. Just an incredible turn of events yeah. all around. Incredible drama here in Phoenix. Again, an unprecedented situation. The man who for so long could not seem to figure out his weight at featherweight moves up to lightweight and becomes this great champion, now loses his title on the scale. Uh, just unbelievable turn of events. Thank you for, for sticking with us at MMA Fighting. We'll continue to cover this uh, situation as it develops. We have weigh-ins, uh, ceremonial weigh-ins here soon. Uh, and so keep it locked to MMA Fighting as we continue to give you coverage for UFC 274. My name is Sean Oshadi. That man is Jose Youngs. We'll see you.